restaurant in Vegas that you have to eat at every time, what would it be? One restaurant in Vegas you have to eat at every time. You know, I wish I was fancy, but there's a lot of Popeyes around. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, That's man. True. Like, because you come you're, here, you're working. I mean, you have some dinners. You're you're che you're, you're, you're checking yeah. the Popeyes box. I'm checking that Popeyes box. If you want expensive, oh my gosh, overpriced Popeyes, you got to hit that Popeyes That's box. That's possibly the worst thing I've ever heard. It coming is coming from the, the mouth of Dustin Sanchez. Dustin with Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, Mark, Mark franchise. Yeah. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. Okay, we're going to really do this, right? Okay, yep. Okay, hey, welcome in Gun Talk Live. And, you know, we're with Faxon and a storied history. Um with machining yes that's where it kind of all started that's correct so uh the faxon brothers you know started in the machining industry in the 70s mm -hmm. and you know they've had their fingers in automotive oil and gas aerospace yeah. dod so on and so our original parent company faxon machining uh still exists we are separate companies now but yeah. have a good good relationship with each other uh, bob our president is still the ceo over yeah. there um, but they do predominantly DOD now. But that was the whole thing. You know, we kind of took that same DNA, those same kinds of benchmarks yeah. for engineering and quality um, and applied them, you know, yeah. to, to our manufacturing for uh, firearms. So it's uh, it, it's always fun to see, like, the people who actually dreamed it up and work with oh, yeah. people that actually dreamed it up. And, you know, this is a, a labor of love for them. Well, and they continue to do it. So many yeah. so many folks these days can, like, just step away and they're like, okay, we're good. And, right. But they're very involved. Yeah, 100%. And, you know, we just, uh, uh, 12 years, uh, it's been 12 years since uh, the, you know, the actual Facts yeah. and Firearms brand started. So we had our 10 year celebration a couple of years ago and the, the years keep on yeah. ticking by so. which is a good thing yeah. it's a great thing and this gun talk live is brought to you by who is it michael come on come on <laughs> it's palmetto state armory <laughs> uh, they do a great job um we talked a little bit about the beginnings of faxon yeah um the a rack because mm -hmm. that's all that, that chris and i spent some time with that on the range yeah um a year and a half ago right right not much buzz about it mm -hmm. we don't know why because that was probably one of the funnest guns we shot that year yeah um and continues to like where is it yeah is it coming back right what's the wh so right. where are we with the a rack because so, so we can give people like a firsthand like look at yeah, this is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, so you're right. So, you know, the way that, you know, the, the company started was with mm -hmm. the ARAC. You know, that was the first firearms product after Bob and Barry launched Fax and Firearms out of Fax and Machining. And, you know, the thing that happened with it was it really did take off pretty yeah. well, you know, and actually, you know, a lot of the guys, that, you know, the Ian Harrisons of the world oh, or whatever, yeah. like, you know, they were all behind it. And that was kind of like the marquee product. And then, you know, we found that, you know, there was a lot going on with barrels and right. the ARs and, and pistols and all these sorts of things. And the thing about the ARAC was just like, it didn't scale in production well, right. you know? And so um, we've taken over the last two years, taken time to do a little bit of fine tuning on the engineering, yeah. you know, for both uh, production and assembly. Um, and also just kind of do some rolling changes that yeah. we've wanted to do. And and we know that, like, there's been type, well, when are you going to bring it back? You oh, yeah. You're going to bring it back. Well, so, so, like, you know, the, and, and, and rightfully so. Yeah. But what we did was we got to basically quarter four of 2023, and we just started shipping them again. And really? started collecting orders again. And um, so, actually, if you go to, like, Optics Planet right yeah. now, you can find ARAC uppers. Um, they, they actually have an exclusive uh, in a San Saracote, which yep. is really cool. Yeah. And then uh, we have other dealer orders. But, yeah, we started shipping again quietly in October. Um, and then we are, you know, they're back on the price list. They're yep. back on the catalog. And the cool thing is that through this process, we've actually found cost savings. So, really? And we're passing that along to our dealers and our end consumers. So you could actually get an A-Rack upper for less than $1,000 now. Jeez. Um, See, you wanted it. They, yeah, I can't it, believe you guys just kind of quietly yeah. started seeding that out there, and it, which, is, which yeah. is great for guys because it's that one gun. It's always, you know, there's always one gun that you're like, oh, man, I wish they would have brought that back. Or, yeah. you know, I wish that was, but now it's out there. Yeah, now it's out there. So, you know, and just remember that uh, I don't, 
don't get me wrong, we love that you shop facts and firearms.com, yep. but we do fill our dealer and distributor orders first. So awesome. you're going to want to go check those guys out. Uh, maybe if your local shop hasn't picked them up yet, have them get in touch with yep. us, sales at facts and firearms.com, and we could get them on order. But yeah, as, as we stand, I think they may have nine left Optics Planet Ooh. right now. Um, you better hurry. And then we have more orders. <laughs> you better so, hurry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for the, for the complete uppers. But the complete firearms are there too. And we did a couple little things. We uh, modified shell deflectors. Okay. We put OEM, um, you know, manufactured uh, ejection port covers. We also made an option for the lower to have a pick rail back because right. it can shoot folded um, instead of just having the buffered tube. And yeah, so the 762, the 556 yeah. in both configurations, uh, pistol and rifle. Yeah, yeah you could That's yeah, awesome. ship it again this year. So Okay. So we got all the old stuff out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now we're talking new. We're talking new calibers, new offerings. Yes. Um, 22 is such a big thing right now. Mm -hmm. Like it, whether you're talking about the Arc, the Creedmoor, um, well, crap. Well, rimfire. I mean, rimfire in yeah. general is just just taking off right, right now, and now you guys have a new barrel. Yeah. So Hornady reached out to us. Uh, I want to say last summer. And um, it was all very hush hush. Oh, We're yeah. going to announce this new thing at NASGW, and and they're like, "Hey, could could you send us a couple of your Grendel, you know, bolt carrier groups?" Yeah, I'm like, "Sure." It's interesting. Well, what's up? <laughs> you know, and uh, it come to find out, they you know were working on this new round. Uh, they announced 22 arc last year, oh, yeah. and so we decided uh, we'd you know love to be a part of that and become a partner with Hornady on the project. So they have a lot of great companies partnering with them, and Hornady did an excellent job. When we said that we were in, you know, they sent us this, like packet. They gave us like, really? sample reamers, like they were like the whole thing to really kind of expedite the process. Right. And so um, we're starting uh, with the barrels, um, but we do have complete firearms uh, on display here at the show that are yeah. prototypes and then uh, we'll have complete uppers as well cool thing about 22 arc though is that it is you know really just a reconfiguration on your ar-15 it's just right. a barrel swap it's if you have a grendel bolt you know sitting around you could put that okay. it's all you know standard right. stuff you know and obviously you know check your gas system check all oh, those yeah. sorts of things but the whole idea with it is that you are getting uh, kind of a a the bridged gap between something like, uh, you know, a, a 22 Creedmoor or 22 okay. 250 yep. and like regular rim fire. Um, and you also get, because it's smaller, you yeah. get a lot of, you know, uh, recoil reduction mm -hmm. and, and just the weight savings in general on the rounds. But it's a really cool project. Check out, if you go to factsandfirearms.com slash yep. 22 arc, we linked all the stuff that Hornady provided as far as the ballistics. But I mean, this is like small, medium game hunting to right. precision rifle shooting. And uh, they have some pretty impressive ballistics. And, you know, don't forget Hornady's the guys that made six arc happen, right? So exactly. this is their next yep. thing. And so we were thrilled to uh, be a part of it with them. And uh, we do. We have a couple of prototype guns over in the booth uh, for well, people to check out. And you guys have gotten into the bolt action game. I mean, yeah. you guys are doing that now. And right. I mean, that was launched last year. And yeah. how's that going? Bolt action's going great. The FX7 series mm -hmm. launched in October. Um, so we have standalone actions, which actually we brought to this right. segment last year. Uh, the FX7 short actions, um, barreled actions complete firearms uh, we have a new 86 uh, complete bolt action that's on display today Which, as well if you haven't shot 86 yet yeah do yourself a favor and absolutely shoot the 86 because that's incredible yeah. and your the fx7 series is i mean it's smooth yeah um, that was our big thing i mean you know the, and that's that's the deal you know the facts is a They've been drilling holes for a long time. Oh, you yeah. know, they've been machining yeah. for a long oh, yeah. time, right? So having those tight tolerances, and the way I put it is, like, bolt-action shooting is very much like stick shift purists yeah you know what i mean you're right you know like there's it, it there's something visceral about it there's such mm -hmm. a tactile nature to it you know you want it to feel right you want to feel yeah. connected and you want that you want that precision you want that accuracy yeah. you want that feel you know there's a, a it's a different experience right you know shooting shooting a bolt action so um we had the a6 barreled actions at the launch and those just went nuts oh yeah and so we're like Okay, well, we'll go I ahead guess, and put it in a full gun. I guess so. this is a thing. <laughs> yeah, now. yeah. Well, we we're thought people were just going to be building them. And so we went ahead and we added uh, uh, one on our precision chassis that yep. uh, MDT helped us with. And then we have a new one on display that just hit the price list, uh, just hit our catalog on a Magpul Hunter yep. stock. Um, so, again, it's the same FX7 action. Uh, both of those builds come with the Armor Lube. 
uh, DLC on there. Okay. Uh, but again, integral recoil lug made in Cincinnati, yeah. uh, 20 MOA pick rail, 70 degree bolt throw, uh, two rows of three, that six lug design. Um, and yeah, so those are available on the website. So uh, faxfirearms.com slash bolt action. Yep. What I like about it too is that you do offer them barreled actions and full guns yeah. and like so if you if you just want the action you can do that. Um, right. I was out at the range day and someone was um, they I they were like oh yeah this is our new you know our new gun and this is our new action and I'm like well right. can you buy the right the action separate and they were like well no uh uh-uh. and then yeah. the, and the gun's seven thousand dollars I'm like but what if I don't like the stock that's on it or, but I like yep. the action, you know what I mean? So I love the FX seven series. It's, it's, uh, definitely worth a look over at faxon.com. Um, we have another thing over here. Yeah. That's, it's kind of <laughs> a little different. It's a, it's a, it's a lot different. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell you right now from yeah. faxon, you don't expect this. Right. Um, but it was launched around like black Friday or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Um, and when I saw him, I was like, huh? Yeah. Why would you do that? It's a cool thing. Well, do you want to? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I, on I've teased. Piece? I've teased it too much. <laughs> I, I've just. I've just blown it out of the water. But waterproof bags. Yeah. Backpacks. You've yeah. got a little bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah. So we uh, have been working on this for a little over a year now. Um, Actually, Robert Faxon, Bob's son, is mm-hmm. uh, who works with me in the sales and marketing office, was kind of point on this project. But we wanted to have uh, something else for our audience and also just kind of expand the brand. And uh, we found that there's kind of this gap for the high value proposition product in the soft goods space. And so, you know, that's always been a hallmark of Faxon in general, right? Right. You know, we're not the most expensive. We're certainly not Mm -hmm. bargain basement, but you get a lifetime guarantee. You know, you get, you know, the the American design ingenuity and all those sorts of things. Uh, But we noticed that if you wanted that in a bag, that had all the features that you wanted, you're paying $500, $600, $1,000. Yep. I mean, some of these are crazy. And we wanted to bring that to our market. Um, so the, what you have here is uh, our first Fax and Outdoors uh, duffel. This is in what's called our Icon series. Okay. This is a 50 liter IPX7 rated waterproof duffel. Um, it, it, you'll see it's kind of, she's all shrunk down. Oh yeah. Shipping. yeah. Uh, but this is uh, completely submersible. Uh, we have uh, German made T-zip zippers on there on the main compartment. Yeah, you can uh, kind of see it right here. The camera will get in yeah. there and start showing all the pretty yeah. stuff on it. So that's watertight. Um, it you is these. well built. Yeah, it's like, I mean, it's rigid. It's well built. And that's what I love about this bag yeah. because I can find so many different uses for it. Right. And inside you have, you know, you have your tie downs, you have removable storage in here yeah. as well. So, uh, you know, all of them come with uh, the water resistant, you know, bag oh, yeah. you can take out velcro has some paracord on there we did an over welded um you know bottom rubber as well um so i mean if if you're going out into a duck blind this is great if oh, yeah. you're going uh on a, a you know a short plane trip you know you're on vacation or something yeah you can fill that thing up suck the air out of it with your vacuum yeah. and throw it in overhead storage uh, has uh, the removable uh, straps um you can wear it as a backpack oh, yeah. if you'd like I and mean, if you really wanted to you could fill the thing with ice and make it a cooler um you know whatever <laughs> you want to do now i will say this when you mentioned duck hunting all i could think of was you better hide this from ryan gresham because like he's <laughs> thinking the same thing he's like oh my gosh i think i found my next duck bag like yeah or a blind bag i mean i'm thinking you know a backcountry hunt you can fill this with whatever you wanted yeah not to get wet i mean that's the thing when you're taking you know high value equipment right. out in the field you don't you want to do everything you can to prevent against the elements and yes to, yeah you and almost have overbuilt these. Yeah, and these are um, lifetime guaranteed, just like our products. Yeah. Um, you know, so this has uh, uh, been a been a labor of love. We were so excited that it finally launched um, in October, October, November. I think is when we started shipping yeah. the dealers, and then it went live on Black Friday. So we have this. We also have uh, two thirty liter backpacks available okay. right now. Uh, one is this same material, uh, really, the Icon Thirty. Um, that's waterproof. So again, IPX seven yeah. rated and so on in the main compartment. And then we have one that I carry every day uh, that's a water and dust resistant using YKK really? Aqua Guard, and it's kind of more of like that high yeah. blonde fabric. The same thing, removable backpack, your uh, laptop storage, okay. uh, the waist belts come off. So if you don't want to, I mean, I'm just walking to the office every day, yeah. like if it's from my car, you know, yeah, I yeah. waist belt. Put it you know, on so it doesn't move. It, yeah. like, <laughs> I'm, I'm really using the full like yeah. services of this backpack. Yeah, exactly. Like, for my MacBook. <laughs> and, uh, but I mean, all the strap, all the, all the things that you want. And 
and a high quality bag that would normally cost you six, seven, eight hundred dollars. You know, down to full blown MSRP yeah. is two hundred nine. Really? And, and yeah, and what, for this bag uh, and the mm. Icon Thirty waterproof, the water and dust resistant is yeah. like one thirty nine. Good gosh, mm -hmm. not something you normally expect to hear yeah. from Faxon, but just like all their other products, man, overbuilt and just a val great price. Like I mean, yeah. two hundred nine bucks for a bag like this. Yeah. yeah. That's a little ridiculous. Like, yeah. You may have yeah. undershot that a little bit. I'm going to just we, be honest with you. We're going to have about 15 to 20 new products launching this really? year, too. So we do have some new colorways that we have on display. Uh, we have a roll-top prototype that we have in the booth. And then, obviously, yes, we will yeah. be making gun cases and range Good. bags and things like that. Ooh, gun cases? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So w what's next for you guys after gun cases, bags, backpacks? What's... What's the next? I next? mean, you can give it right here. These these folks on here will not say anything. Uh, you could tell your friends. Uh, Gen two FX nineteen pistols. Really? This year. Yeah, yeah. It's a very exciting whole new frame design. We actually also so you're getting basically a Gen two update on the Hellfire and the Patriot. Yes. Right. You're also getting a nineteen X style version of the Hellfire and Patriot, and then we're also launching what's called the Duty pistol. And yeah. the Duty pistol kind of takes design elements from both the Hellfire okay. and the Patriot, but brings it down to just a, a very high value yeah. price. You're looking so like you, if you go to the website right now, if you go to factionfirearms.com/fx19, yeah. go take a look because you still have your regular FX19s. Yeah. You have the LTs we launched last year, but a full new uh, Gen 2 Gen two is coming. coming uh, uh, yes. Actually, they should. They're on display here. I think by the time we get to around awesome. the NRA, you yeah, know, that people will be really be pushing them. them. All right. Excellent. Dustin yeah. Wallace, thank you so much My for joining pleasure. me. All right. Go check them out. Factionfirearms.com. For all your needs, anywhere else they need to go? Also, faxandoutdoors.com. They have their own site. That's right. They, yeah. we, us, them. You. That all guy. right, guys. <laughs> all right, we're going to be back with another Gun Talk Live brought to you by Palmetto State Armory right after this. Thanks for watching Gun Talk Live. For more great gun content, subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. You can always watch the Gun Talk channels on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon. And of course, you can always find us at guntalk.com. Thanks for watching.